Okay, so I decided today that this computer is really annoying. Besides that, um, that I am going to write a song about dealing with a chronic illness. You know the, the song, like, um, it's from The Sound of Music, it's like, uh, brain fogging, sorry. Um, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes. These are a few of my favorite things. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, but it's gonna be things, bad things. <laughs> for the first verse, so like in the beginning it's gonna be like, um, <laughs> elevated legs and blood pressure cuffs, like it's, it's gonna be funny, but I need your help. I need all the viewers' help and I need the girls' help to figure out funny things that I should put in the song to make it a little bit more lively and less, you know, like, it's supposed to be a funny song, it's supposed to make us all laugh when we sing it, and um, so yeah, give me when you hear the word dysautonomia, or when you hear the word sick, or if, like even for our viewers that don't have dysautonomia, or like if they if they have EDS, if they have like here, like you know what I mean, if they have a chronic illness, what don't you like about it, like or what are some things that happen, like I want to include in the song. Um, Call me EDS, I can make your joints pop. Like, <laughs> I, I, it was a Facebook group when I had Facebook and I thought it was hilarious. Um, so, I don't know, just, it's an idea. And, uh, when I get access to a computer all the time, I'm gonna post the video of me either singing it or saying it, or I'll post it somewhere on the site. I don't know. I think it'd be a funny idea, and I want to get everyone involved with it to be creative. So put on your thinking caps and let me know what you think. Um, can I stay hydrated? <laughs> um, there wasn't too many questions or challenges besides the interview. I'm not going to do the interview this week. I can't because of family obligations and other things. Um, but next week, hopefully, I will get my dad to answer some questions. You'll like him. He's like me, only um, a little bit more dorky. So fair warning if he says any corny jokes or anything. Um, what else is today? Um, I, don't, I have a limited amount of time today, so I'm trying to make this quick. But I wanted to say hi to everyone. And uh, I have salt packets. I'm gonna keep burping. Um, have you ever just had one of those days where like you're just so slow and like behind in everything? Like you're really delayed? Like my friend texted me a joke and I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it at all and she just had to call me and explain it and she, yeah it's just bad. I don't know if it's just brain fog or if that's just me, but, um, yeah. I don't know, I've just been so uh, out of it. I didn't even have time to do my hair today. So I look like a mess. But... Are my teeth at least white? I don't know. Um, besides that, I wanted to show you guys what I was reading because Honestly, when when you're sick and stuff, and you watch the same show over and over again, or even if you're just bored, like, TV gets really boring after a while, and this shirt's annoying me. So, I'm <laughs> reading a few books right now. Um, one second. Okay, um, yeah. and that was my shoulder, if you guys can hear that. Um, yes, 
So, I like to read a lot. And where did I just put my book? Okay. First book that, well, last book I, I'm going to go backwards. The first book I read this summer, I've read it a few times. Please don't, okay. First book I read this summer, Kurt Vonnegut, Slaughterhouse Five. This is if you, if, if, this is not a book to read when your brain's foggy. It's very confusing sometimes, but I love it. And it has one of my favorite quotes in it that I sometimes, like, refer back to when I'm not feeling so hot or if I'm really upset. It's, um, well, I can't find it, of course, today. Oh, right here. Actually, I, if I could get tattoos on my arms, I would probably get this one. Um, everything was beautiful and nothing hurt. That is probably one of my favorite quotes of all time and I say that to myself. It's kind of like an ironic quote, like, <laughs> I don't know, I like it. It's a good book if you like to stay, like, you know, have your brain keep going, I don't know. Um, second book. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm fibbing. I didn't read this book this summer. I read it a few times last year and the year before, but it's my favorite book of all time. Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. Um, it's a great book. It's about a child basically trying to figure out his life. Um, he has autism, so he kind of sh shares his world and his view on autism, like, like how he doesn't understand people like when they're upset like when they're crying he's just kind of like their 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 eyes were broken like <laughs> he doesn't get it and um he's really smart though and he he's just really like random and he reminds me a lot of the kids i take care of but um a part of it was like people think that alien sh spaceships would be solid and made out of metal and have lights coming all over them moving like he, he has so many run-on sentences, but it's such a good book, and it's a, it's dry humor in it. It's a great book. Another uh, autistic book that I'm reading, I'm almost done it, Look Me in the Eyes by John Elder Robinson. It's, a, it's um, it, he's somehow related to the guy that wrote Running with Scissors, Augustine Burroughs. It's really good. He had, um, it's, um, My Life with Asperger's Syndrome. Asperger's is another, is a form of autism, but it's a great book. And I think everyone, regardless if you're sick or healthy, if you're sad or if you're happy, you should read this book. Right here. Eat, Love, Pray. It's a tad on the girly side, so guys, manly potsies, um, I'm pretty tomboyish, and if I if I could get through this book, you guys could too. Like I, I'm I'm one of the least girly people you ever meet. The only reason why I'm dressed up like this is because I'm probably gonna see my grandma. This is it's a great book. It, it's it's really good. It's, got, it's got, coming out in the movie theater. So yeah, um, I guess that's what's I'm gonna ask you guys this week. Um, share if you guys read, share like the last four books or a few books that you read and like why you like them and if you don't read then tell me why you don't like to read if it makes your brain hurt or if you just don't feel like it if you prefer to do other things instead of read but basically last four three two books that you read let me hear them I need I need more because um, as you can tell like, all I do is read, like, I'm, I'm covered in books. It's kind of pathetic. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get going. Like my shades? I like my shades. Okay, as you can tell, I'm way too out of it right now to be doing a video. Okay. Have a nice week, guys.